Hello everyone! This is my new video which shows an example how to do configuration, verification and timers tuning for multiple spanning tree protocol. So let's get started. Pros and cons of multi-spanning tree protocol. MST combines the best aspects from both PVST Plus and 802.1Q and 802.1D standards and gives a possibility to map several VLANs to a reduced number of spanning tree instances. Uh, pros of MST. Uh, first one, the desired load balancing scheme can be achieved. And the second one, the CPU cycles are spared. Cons of MST, uh, this protocol is more complex than usual spanning tree protocol. And interaction with legacy switches can be a challenge. So we have example here, we have three switches and SW1 switch is the root bridge for instance one. And we have uh, VLANs from one to 500 mapped in this uh, instance. And this instance is in forwarding um, uh, on uh, uplink from switch SW3 to SW1 and in blocking for, on uplink from SW3 to SW2 switch. And we have the second instance which for which SW2 switch is a root bridge. And we have uh, VLANs from 501 to 1000 map to this instance. And it's in forwarding uh, on uplink from SW3 to SW2 and it's in blocking from up on uplink from SW3 to SW1 switch. So we have only two instances and we can achieve uh, load balancing and we have spare we can spare a CPU cycles in this case. How to configure MST? There are a few steps uh, which needs to be done to configure MST. Step one Define MST as spanning tree protocol with the command spanning tree mode MST. Then you have second uh, step and which is optional. Uh, in this step you can um, define the MST instance priority and make like if you want kind of load balancing and assign one switch for one instance as root switch and the other switch as a, a root for another instance. Um, and for this you can use command spanning tree mst and then you use instance number and then you go uh, you have priority with priority uh, value which can be from 0 to 64410 with increment of 4096 or you can use spanning tree mst instance number and then a root with uh, keywords pri primary secondary uh, where you can um, specify which um, switch for which instance is a primary root bridge and which one is secondary root bridge and you have also a keyword diameter which is used only with um, instance zero and uh, Keyword primary sets the priority to 24,576 and keyword secondary sets the priority to 28,672. Step number three, associate VLANs to an MST instance. By default, all VLANs are in instance zero. So uh, first you need to enter MST configuration submode with command spanning tree MST configuration and then assign VLANs to different MST instances with command instance, instance number, uh, then you have VLAN with VLAN ID. Step number four, specify the MST version number which must match for all switches in the same MST region. And this can be done with the command revision and uh, version uh, value and this command is needs to be uh, configured under um, MST configuration sum mode and the last step is optional as well define the MST region name MST regions are recognized by switches that share a common name which is an empty string by default and this is also can be done under uh, MST configuration sub mode with the command name and then MST region name. MST verification. To verify MST configuration on the switch, use the following command show spanning tree MST configuration. 
To see the relevant spanning tree information, use the command show spanning tree. However, the MST instance is provided instead of VLAN numbers there in the output. And the priority value of the switch is the MST instance plus the switch priority. Consolidated view of the MST topology is displayed with the command show spanning tree MST and you can also um, filter out by instance number uh, to add this option instance number. To view a specific MST setting for a specific interface, use the command show spanning tree MST interface with interface ID. We can also do some MST tuning. For example, to set interface cost, use the following command in the interface configuration mode. Spanning tree MST with instance number and cost with cost value, where cost value is in range from 1 to 2000000000. To set interface priority, uh, use the following command in the interface configuration mode, spanning tree MST with instance number, port priority with priority value, where priority value is in range from 0 to 240 with increment of 16. And to change uh, MST timers, use the following command in global configuration mode, spanning tree MST, then we have three options, hello time, max age, and forward time with time value, where time value for hello time is in range from 1 to 10 seconds, for max age is in range from 6 to 40 seconds, and for forward time is in range from 4 to 40 seconds. Let's configure multi-spanning tree protocol. We have topology consisting of three switches, and there is at the moment uh, PVST protocol running, and in this case uh, we have SW1 at the root bridge, and G02 interface and SW3 switch is in blocking state. So, so spanning tree, we have, we can see that there's the SW1 the root bridge for each VLAN, and we have also I have also pre-configured VLANs on all these switches, so we have uh, two VLANs already there, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, and um, show run, spanning tree, and you can see that there is spanning tree mode PVC, so let's go and check, Span let's go and configure mode MST, spanning tree, MST configuration, and we're gonna. I go, I'm going to map uh, VLAN 10 into instance 1 and VLAN 20 into, into instance uh, 2. Instance 1, VLAN 10, and instance 2, VLAN 20. And I'm gonna give name MST and revision number 1. Let's go to switch SW2. Show spanning tree. See. Uh, show VLAN. We have VLANs here 10 and 20. Spanning tree mode P, uh, MST. Spanning tree MST configuration uh, instance one VLAN ten instance two VLAN twenty name MST revision number one and the last switch SW three show spanning tree and show VLAN, uh, VLANs are there, and uh, mode MST, spanning tree MST configuration, uh, in instance 1 VLAN 10, instance 2 VLAN 20, and name MST, revision number 1. And now we can see that we have our topology and we have uh, MST instance 0, we have instance 1, and we have instance 2. Let's 
go to our speech w1 all is good so show spanning t and we can to verify we can use for example configuration and then we're gonna show spanning 3 mst configuration and then we're gonna get uh, our configuration MST configuration um, output. So uh, we can see that the name MST revision number one, instances three, zero, one, two, and uh, which we launch a map to which instances. Spanning three MST. And then we can, for example, uh, filter out by instance for MST one. Here we can see that which um, bridge is the root. So this is the root bridge because it is MST one. Let's go and Check, for example, on second one, show spanning three, MST one. So it says that this bridge is uh, with this MAC address priority, and this is the root bridge, and it's on G01 interface, cost to 20 thousands, and we can see that G01 root and G03 designated. Then we can, for example, check interface G01. And we're gonna have uh, information about configuration, for example, port guard, BPD filter, which is configured or not on this port, BPD sent, received, and status of ports. Let's go and see what is with our switch number three. A blocking edge. All good. So we can see that, for example, on switch three, we have uh, for instance zero g02 interface and blocking the same like we had for pvst uh, for instance one g02 blocking state and g0, for instance two g02 blocking as well so the same uh, topology like we had for pvst now i'm gonna make um, switch sw1 like primary for the MST one and secondary for MST, for instance, two and uh, switch two, primary for instance two and uh, secondary for instance one. Spanning three MST uh, one root primary and spanning three MST two root secondary. And let's go to switch two. Spanning 3, MST 2, root primary, and spanning 3, MST 1, root secondary. So, what we're gonna have now? As you remember, uh, it's per instance, not per VLAN, like in uh, other protocols. So we can see that for MST1, SW1 is the root. For SW, MST2, sorry, uh, SW1 switch has a root interface G02, which is facing SW2 switch. And let's go to SW2 switch. We can see that for VLAN, or MS, MS, uh, instance 1, this uh, switch has root G01, which is facing to SW1, uh, and for SW, for instance, 2, this uh, switch is the root bridge. And the last one that I wanted to show is how to change, how to tune some timers, for example. Spanning 3, MST, and then we have option, we can change, uh, for example, hello timer let's say to 10 seconds and then we can change max age uh, for let's say 20 and last one forward delay forward let's say also let's say 15 seconds so we can see it's in place already here and for VLAN uh, MST1 
and for MST2 but this is let's go to switch SW2 and check what we have here 15. and we can see for um, instance 0 switch SW2 has um, from the root bridge, it has uh, hello time 10, max h 20, forward delay 15, but locally configured to 2050. And oh, let's me, let me change on um, T, spine 3, MST, max h, let's do it 15, and forward delay also 15 also 15 15 15 10 15 15 MST1 10 15 15 and here we can see 10 15 15 for the root and for Local, local, locally configured, we have 22015. The same for MST1 and the same for conf T. Uh, spanning 3. Uh -huh. the, this time, if you remember, this timer, they are. Um, sent in IST uh, BPDU and they are not sent in MSTI so that's why we have um, all this for MST1 to 0 from uh, SW1 from uh, switch SW1 all these configurations all these timers even on the switch SW2 for MST1 MST2 where this uh, switch is the root bridge but still we have hello time 10 seconds 15 seconds and 15 seconds because these uh, timers they are sent by IST BPDUs and this is instant zero which is configured on the switch SW1 and uh, last one let's go and check connectivity so uh, our PC1 PC1 has uh, it's in VLAN 10 and it has 172 and 10 and uh, PC3 is also in VLAN 10. PC3, if config, uh, this is the IP of PC3. And we can see that connectivity is there. And PC2, PC2 in VLAN 20, if config. 172.31.20.10 and uh, PC4 is also in VLAN 20. It's PC4 if config. Let's copy and ping. And connectivity in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 is OK. At this point, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!